Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. The drama surrounding blue vanity check marks on social media is a very interesting phenomenon. It's basically captivated users for years. While the concepts of verification badges are not anything new, um, the use of them on very popular social media sites like Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok were basically introduced to add a layer of legitimacy and credibility to high profile accounts. It has also become a source of controversy and drama. The desire to have a blue check mark has led to people trying to gain the system and manipulate the verification process. There has been instances of people using fake identities to buy followers and engagements to increase their chance of getting verified. This has led to the criticism of the verification process as it can be seen as rewarding those who are willing to cheat the system. And additionally, you also have people who have bought their blue check marks anywhere from three to five thousand dollars for a blue check mark on one of those platforms. So you have a lot of insider people who are willing to make a bag on the side to get people verified. The value placed on blue check marks have led to a hierarchy and a status on social media. Accounts with the coveted blue check marks are, are often seen as more important or influential than those without them. This can create tension and competition between users as everyone wants to be seen as a legitimate and influential figure in their respective field. The drama surrounding the blue vanity check marks have also spilled over into real life conversations. Some users have reported feeling depressed or anxious when they are in able to obtain a verification badge, leading them to question themselves about their real impact on social media because they don't have this badge. Overall, the drama surrounding the blue vanity check marks highlights the importance that social media plays in our lives and how the status symbol can affect our behavior and emotions. While the verification process can add legitimacy to high profile accounts, it is important to remember that social media is a small part of our lives and we shouldn't hold too much weight or importance over a blue check mark. Case in point, I went through that last year when I was looking for sponsorships for my live show and people would look at the fact that I wasn't verified on Instagram or Twitter, even though I am verified on Facebook and YouTube, but because I wasn't verified on those other platforms, they felt like I really didn't have enough influence to sell, you know, close to 500 tickets. You know, who would come and see me? You're not verified. You're not popping. And we proved them wrong, tea sippers. Not only did the tea sippers come out and show out, lots of celebrities also came out to support, and it ended up being a wonderful event. So, again, like I said on stage that day, just because you have a blue check does not mean you're getting checks. So I think that's where people have it misconstrued that they equate a blue check mark and somebody being popular with them having legitimate fame or a legitimate fan base or even money. There are people who are verified who are broke and sleeping on their mom's couch. There are people who are verified right now who couldn't get 10 people to buy 10 tickets to come see them at their concert. Remember the baby? He couldn't even sell tickets. Well, the baby, the Charlotte rapper, he's trending online right now after one of his concerts was canceled. And it's for an interesting reason. So he was set to hit the stage in New Orleans Friday night. Promoters, though, scrapped the show because he didn't sell enough tickets. According to local media, he was able to sell just a few hundred seats for a venue that has a 14,000 seat capacity. It's a little embarrassing. Promoters say they're going to put together a smaller replacement show at a later date. He'll, DaBaby will likely still perform, but he won't be on his own. There'll be other performers as well. It wasn't too long ago that he was being ridiculed for not being able to sell out tickets. And he had to stop many shows because tickets were not being sold. So do not let these blue check marks gas you up. It is a vanity symbol, nothing more, nothing less. And it's very interesting how a lot of so-called celebrities are really upset now that regular people have access to the same thing. So welcome to today's show. We're going to be talking and discussing Elon Musk's recent purge of the blue check marks from Twitter. 
So if you guys do not know that Elon Musk announced last week, he stated that on 420, April 20th, which is today, that he was basically going to start unchecking thousands of legacy verified accounts unless they subscribe to Twitter Blue. Some of the most followed celebrities on Twitter have now lost their legacy verification status. And that includes people like Justin Bieber, Katy Perry, Cristino Rodinaldo, Lady Gaga, Kim Kardashian, Selena Gomez, Bill Gates, Justin Timberlake, Shakira, Jennifer Lopez, Oprah Winfrey, and Beyonce, and there is many more to come. Donald Trump was also de-verified as well. So this entire situation is causing a lot of drama right now over there on Twitter. And the whole thing is very interesting. Now, as of now, Rihanna, Taylor Swift, Britney Spears, and Ellen DeGeneres, LeBron James, Tim Cook, they all still have their verified check marks. If you guys remember a few weeks ago, LeBron James came out and said he wasn't paying for nothing. So I'm sure he will lose his verification by the end of today's date um, with more to come. Now, the multi-billionaire Elon Musk announced in November that he pledged to dismantle the legacy blue checkmark system and disparaging the company's previous verification policy as corrupt and nonsensical. Elon also went on to reply to William Shatner when William Shatner was complaining about them potentially removing their blue checkmark. And Elon says there shouldn't be a different standard for celebrities when it comes to a verified status. So if you guys don't know, Twitter has more than 420,000 verified accounts. The goal of Twitter's original verification program was to help people know that the high profile user that they were following was in fact who they said they were to avoid confusion with imposters. Meanwhile, Twitter has launched this program for businesses and organizations, which cost them $1,000 a month, but for $1,000, you will get a gold verification badge. One of the first businesses, like I told y'all on Instagram, to jump on this was the WWE. They are willing to pay Elon Musk $1,000 a month, and they are verified with a gold badge, as are many others. But for regular users, you will get a regular blue check mark. You will have to pay $8 a month for a premium subscription if you want to have a blue check mark. On top of that, Twitter is also now using gray check marks for government accounts. So like I said, the blue check mark apocalypse is causing a lot of drama, but I leave the question up with you guys. What do you guys think about Elon Musk's recent move to purge the blue check marks from Twitter accounts unless they are being paid for? Do you think this will have a negative impact on the platform or do you feel like it will improve the verification system? And then how do you feel about so many celebrities who are upset about regular people not having access to a blue verification badge? I just find that very comical and it shows you how much these celebs really hold stock in something as stupid as a verification badge. I know who I am and y'all know who I am as well, regardless of a blue check mark. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so tell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.